Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 18 Ultimate Team video. Guys, I have some cool information for you today. Some cool artwork coming from the Madden 18 Ultimate Team uh, game itself. This is actually kind of taken from the actual Mutthead website. They're starting to release ratings for the new players. So make sure you go over there, check out Mudhead. Um, they're putting out all kinds of good stuff, both on Twitter as well as on the website itself. So again, make sure you check out Mudhead. Now, this is actually kind of some information that has not been released officially by anybody yet as far as I'm aware. There might be people on Twitter that have found it, but I'm going to go ahead and credit Ryan915 for this. You guys know Ryan. Um, he actually found this, and I think he would have put out videos himself about this stuff. But unfortunately, he's still feeling very, very sick. So I'm going to go ahead and put him out. Um, he's he's totally cool with me putting him out. Obviously, we're really good friends. We talk pretty much every day. So uh, he said he's cool with it. And also, he also told everybody to go over and check out my channel. So if you're here because of Ryan, thank you very much. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at ClickWithTV as well as subscribe to this channel. And with that said, let's take a look at the GOAT cards that we found on the Mudhead database. The first one, guys, you saw in the actual thumbnail graphic if you clicked on that Barry Sanders this is going to be a goat card I'm almost certain that these are the goat cards uh, just based on the ones that we actually found and all of these look very very similar to one another so the first one Barry Sanders good to see him back in the game definitely one of my favorite players to play with I have had really great luck with pulling him as far as ultimate legends go in the past so hopefully we're able to pull him in later cards throughout the year but definitely a fun one to start your team with if you like Barry Sanders certainly going to be one of the best running backs in the game so definitely a good card to start off your team next guys we have Ray Lewis obviously another one of the good goat cards that you can get to start your team Ray Lewis middle linebacker a, certainly going to be a beast we we have really have no idea what the overall is going to be for these cards but I'm assuming it's not going to be too crazy because I think that you just get these maybe even by pre-ordering the game. Don't quote me on that, but it's something along those lines anyway. Uh, so definitely another cool card that you could get. Certainly a very beastly middle linebacker. He's always got good speed with catching and things like that. Up next, we have Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice, definitely one of the best receivers in Madden every year. He does not tend to have the high-end speed of like a Randy Moss or guys like that, but he does have amazing catching attributes. And what from what we've heard this year, a lot of things like the route running, the catch and traffic, stuff like that are going to be extremely important. So Jerry Rice is definitely going to be a guy that is going to be able to take advantage of those new settings in the game. So certainly he is a good option for you as well. Up next, we do have, in my opinion, the GOAT, and that is Tom Brady at the quarterback position. Certainly going to be one of the better quarterbacks in the game. Obviously, he doesn't have the mobility of some of the other guys like the Russell Wilsons or even the Tyrod Taylors, or even if you want to go kind of like in the direction of a guy who can throw and run like an Aaron Rodgers. But I am assuming Tom Brady is going to have the best pure throwing attributes in the game to start it off. So certainly another really, really great card. Obviously, the GOAT edition of Madden 18 also has Tom Brady. Um, on the cover and I, yeah the regular edition does as well so uh, definitely Tom Brady is going to be one of the better cards in the game now what's interesting is that we were not actually able to find one of the other goat cards I believe that there is also supposed to be a Deion Sanders but we were not able to find the card art of that so if anybody's able to find that let us know in the comment section below and I will probably go ahead and tweet that out and give you credit and things like that but uh, those are the GOAT cards. We did also find two other cards that we're assuming go along with these. So I'll show you those real quickly here. You've got Antonio Brown, and you've got the other one is going to actually be DeMarco Murray. So um, I will show you that one in just a second. But to go back and forth between these two, uh, you can see like the background is basically the same. It's just edited a little bit differently between the GOAT edition and whatever these are. I'm assuming that maybe you might get both of these if you get the GOAT edition. We really don't know. We don't have any confirmation because, again, these are like leaks. They don't really have any real information behind them. So this is all just assumption. But these are, you know, definitely cards that you could use on your team at some point throughout the season. So, again, the first one is Antonio Brown. The second one, DeMarco Murray. And you can kind of see, again, that they're all basically the same type of layout between these and the GOAT cards, just with a little bit different coloring on them. So uh, with that said, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully you got some good information. If you did, make sure that you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you have any questions or anything, make sure you leave those in the comment section below. I will do my best 
best to answer them for you. I don't really have any great information about what the ratings are going to be for these cards again, but uh, we have to assume that starting things off, they're probably going to be good to begin with. They're not going to be the best cards in the game, I wouldn't assume, uh, but they'll probably be pretty good. And then obviously um, they're not going to be like the dynamic cards or anything like that, I wouldn't assume. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.